Hi welcome back to our channel in this video, I will tell you about hi everyone. Welcome to my channel where I review the latest movies and shows on Netflix. Today, I'm going to talk about 10 Days of a Bad Man, a Turkish thriller comedy that just dropped on Netflix on August 18. If you haven't seen the official trailer yet, you can watch it here one. But before we get into the review, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. 10 Days of a Bad Man is based on the novels by Mehmet Eroglu and directed by Uluk Bayraktar. It stars Nijet Eisler as Sadik, a private investigator who used to be a lawyer until he went to jail for his ex-wife Rezin, played by Nur Fetahoglu. Now, he works for his former law partner maid, played by Ezra Ranavar, who gives him a case to find her nanny's missing son. Along the way, he gets involved in a twisted plot involving a mansion murder, a mysterious cult, and a lot of lies. The movie is a mix of noir, comedy, and action, with a lot of references to classic detective stories and films. Sadik is a fan of Philip Marlowe, the iconic private eye, created by Raymond Chandler and portrayed by actors like Humphrey Bogart and Elliot Gould. He even wears a corduroy jacket and a hoodie as his signature outfit. He also has a complicated love life, with three women vying for his attention, Fatma, his young and cheerful neighbor who is also a sex worker, Meryl, his friend with benefits who is an out-of-work actress, and Rezin, his ex-wife who still haunts his dreams. The movie is full of twists and turns that keep you guessing until the end. You never know who to trust or what to expect. The movie also has a lot of humor and satire that poke fun at the corruption and hypocrisy of the Turkish society. The movie does not shy away from showing the dark and violent side of the story, but it also balances it with some light-hearted moments and witty dialogue. 10 Days of a Bad Man is a movie that will keep you entertained and intrigued for its entire duration. It has a great cast, a clever script, and a stylish direction. It is one of the best Turkish movies on Netflix right now, and I highly recommend it to anyone who loves mystery, comedy, and action. That's it for my review of 10 Days of a Bad Man. Have you seen it yet? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching please like, share and give feedback.